hey what's up guys today i'm gonna show you how to use my blocks in scratch so let's get started first of all this what is this so my blocks is thing like you can make your own blocks like these for example go to x and y but these have the custom function you want so let's try by making a block here you can see this page make a block with an on already labeled text this is just the text uh, on your block like here you can see it is written set and two these are the text and here you can see this input where we can put anything this is a number or text input in scratch 2 they, these were different but now it is same and this drop down list this we can't make this but everything else we can make it so here you can see we have inputs like these and also the boolean one boolean one is like this uh, you can input things like this so it is in like wait until or repeat until block or if or if else block all these type of blocks have this uh, boolean input here you can see I can put this in all of them for so now I gonna show you how to make these blocks first of all make a block and you can label it anything my first block and here you can see I can put any of these in front of this so I am gonna put this add an input number or text uh, here you can see I can name this uh, for example value 1 if you wanna put number you can put number I am just typing it here you can put uh, uh, boolean like this like uh, boolean number 1 and this is run without screen refresh so if you don't know this uh, if you check this you can't see the screen updating and this makes the script very fast very 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 fast but if you put a forever loop uh, by checking this inside your blocks definition then it might uh, crash scratch desktop and even in scratch 2 this happens so better if you check this and don't put any forever loop so here you can see we don't check now I will show you in later in this video so click on ok and here you can see we have our first block so you can use this to do many things like uh, functions big functions like if you are a game developer already in C sharp and Java you can see that we make functions to make a function like if I wanna make uh, him draw I can make a normal script like when the green flag leg forever go to mouse pointer and put NFL statement touching mouse pointer oh sorry remove this and mouse down then here yeah, you can see we can just import this pen then pen down or else pen up here yeah, you can see I made this short script here yeah, you can see now I can draw but this won't work here in full screen mode it will work so here yeah, you can see I can draw with this and also put your is all so to do this in a shorter way or if you are putting in many scripts like this uh, in a single sprite or this function alone so you can just make a block to make your scripts look shorter so to use this we can first duplicate this and put it here and value one we don't need this here but if we need to like set pen size here you can see if we want to set pen size anything in a random value you can just put your pick random from 1 to any range here you can see if I put any value in the value 1 block here you can see our block is created if I put your 10 so it will take pick up a number from 1 to 10 so this works and also the boolean you can put remove this mouse down and put it here boolean 1 doesn't check the boolean but its value so if touching mouse pointer is false or true if it is false it will check 0 and if it is true then it will check like you can see touching edge is now true so it will say true it will be 1 so like if I mouse down means if you are holding the mouse button pressed then it will be 1 means true and if it is you are not holding then it will be 0 or like false so you can put this here and just instead of this script you can put it here so 1 to 10 range or I want 1 to 5 range so I will put the end value 5 and also here put mouse down you can also put touching mouse pointer so it will all be always true as if we are going to the mouse pointer it will be touching the mouse pointer 
I'm here putting this mouse down and here you can see this does the same work just uh, changing the size of the pen every second you can also do this thing like um, remove this and just put the script here remove this and put your mouse down and put your 5 here you can see this also does the same work so the my block thing is actually good so this was uh, from scratch 2 made in scratch 2 here you can see on the screen there is a scratch 2 window if you wanna make a block in scratch 2 you can just go to my blocks and create new block and you can do the same thing just we have uh, two values for this uh, number input and the square so the square contains a string here you can see in scratch 3 if I put any uh, typing here I can't put uh, I can put this inside of this uh, input number or text but in scratch 2 you can't do this so there is a square for strings a string means a text and a number means you you know that so here we are with that and now I gonna show you what this works like if we check it now and you can't use this in this script as you can see this will just not change the size of the pen as it is very fast just to remove this block and here we can see it is disappeared from here so now make a new block if I wanna make clones so I can put here build and with a number input so run without screen refresh now you can check it and now this script might be seen by you all in many of my videos as this is the script I use in for making clones and big things small you can watch my video on my algorithm for making shorter games so in that tutorial you can see what this works like so now we can just copy that delete this variable and make a variable called clone number you can name this anything this is the part of that tutorial so just set clone number to zero and repeat number times change clone number by one and create clone of myself and also put here go to x0 and y0 so if you wanna stamp you can do that too like this and now if we put it here and just build uh, say 4 uh, you, you can see it just prints immediately and if I wanna see if it is working or not you can just put your move 10 steps or say move 50 steps here you can see this just made it in a single second or a fraction of second just put your erase all so that it is just remixed and now here you can see edit if I uncheck this or untick this you can see we can see these are being created and if I check this you can't see them being created and they are just uh, static to our eyes so this how it works you can use this for rendering text uh, you can watch my tutorial making a text renderer uh, number renderer and also making text plus number renderer in scratch to get that script so thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial